And a lot of times you can look at your electronics and what may look like just kind of an old nothing bay or a pocket or flat, and you'll be able to find subtle depth changes when you use your mapping and can color it and shade your depths. And in some of those situations, I'll do zero to five, but if I'm really, really focused on a color or a depth, I should say, I'll, I may change my colors every two feet so that I can really define where the depth changes are and the little subtle bends in the depth changes because that can be all the difference in getting a bite and not getting a bite. And you can even, in some of these lakes that haven't been mapped as, as much, you can use your electronics to create your own map. There he is. Got him that time. Come here, fish. Oh, yeah. Coming up. Little bitty guy. You know, and that's all the difference of being able to look at your, your mapping and your sonar to kind of determine, you know, where the bend in the creek is, to where that little slight subtle depth change may be. And that can make all the difference in where a, a group of fish will set up, you know, especially in those times of the year where their big groups of them are moving back to spawn and you're looking for a, a little depth change or a little staging area where they're all gonna be.